Now, as world leaders arrive in New Delhi for the all-important G20 summit, a towering symbol of Indian art, craftsmanship and history stands at the Bharat Mandapam, the summit venue. We're talking about the world's largest Natraj statue. Our senior correspondent Siddharth MP reports on, his, on the magnificent statue and how it was sculpted for the summit. Take a look. 27 feet tall. 21 feet wide and 18 tons of metallic mass. With a cost of whopping $1.2 million or 10 crore rupees, this statue shows Hindu god Shiva in his world-renowned dancing pose, the Natraj pose. It is seen as a representation of cosmic energy, creativity and power. But where was this statue made and who sculpted it? It's a temple town in southern India, Swami Mamalai, in the Tanjavur district of Tamil Nadu. More than 60 master craftsmen toiled for seven months to build this glorious statue. For the G20 summit, the Indira Gandhi National Center for Art reached out to us with Nodo for a 28 feet tall, 22 feet wide, 18 ton mass eight metal alloy Natraj statue. This is the first time we've made a sculpture with eight metal alloy. Generally, for temple idols, we use only a five metal alloy. Being an eight metal alloy, it is very tough material. It'll never break or suffer wear and tear. That's how robust it is. The technique they used is a lost wax casting method. It dates back centuries and is a legacy of the Chola era. A community of craftsmen have been preserving it for more than 34 generations. Here's the process they follow. They start by making a wax model of the sculpture. Then, the wax model is coated many times with soil from the Koveri river bed to get a mold. The mold is then sun-dried and heated to melt and drain the wax. Then molten liquid of eight metals or ashtadhatu is poured into this mold and cooled. Gradually, the mud mold is broken and the metallic structure is taken out. Then, in a grueling process that is entirely manual, artists chisel, file and engrave the details. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.